Hey everybody, this is Ben, and welcome back to Timber and Stone. Oh, you have to excuse my voice. I have had a bit of a cold over the weekend here, so I am just gonna get this uh, recording done, and I'm trying to keep my uh, sniffling and coughing to, the, to a minimum. Um, but, so, let's see, where was I at? I was working on the towers, and I think those are definitely gonna get finished up. Uh, yes. There. And also we've got, uh, looks like one of my storages filled, oh, it's the treasure. I've had plenty of people uh, telling me I should build some kind of a treasure room. So that will, hmm, that will have to happen. I'm not sure where, though. So, first of all, down here we've got good old Lagertha Duckman. That is apparently stuck. Lagertha Duckman is Lagertha Stuckman. You just... Why isn't anyone building this? Where are my builders? Yes, I know you couldn't walk to Desired Target because you're an idiot. Where are my builders? Oh, wait, wait, here we go. Oh, I am not in fast forward. That's why. There we go. Fast forwarding. So, okay, we're going to do more construction. Castle Brick. Do like that? Nope. What is it? Alt. That's it. Alt. Boom. Yeah, there. Are, when you're designating stuff, there are a number of different like uh, hotkeys you can hit. Like you, when you're doing a designation like this, say I want to go in a straight line. You hold down Shift. It's a single straight line. One axis. To, oh, we got a migrant. We've got a migrant. This is always good news. Level f mod, level four archer. Level four archer, wow. Maybe you will become an archer at some point. So first of all, mod. Firstly, I must insist, I have to say. Oh, skeletal infantry has been spotted by Pancake Man. You're gonna be an infantry, you're gonna combat train, and then we're gonna, uh, here, here we go. Oh, Pancake Man. Pancake Man is out on patrol, taking care of business. Another skeletal infantry. One, two. Oh, look at that. Zero damage. Yep. They are way... Oops. Sorry. Gather. There we go. They are way too well outfitted. So, nice. Keeping the roads safe. That's right. Safe for travel. Tube Town here. So, where are we going over here? Um, oh, there you go. Yep, yep, great. Now you get... What are you doing, mystical? Skeletal inventory, don't care. Mod is accepted, I know. Go walk to your desired target, seriously. Here you go. Built, yeah! Look at that. Now Lagertha can get out of there. Go, Lagertha, go. Yes, all right. Oh, God, you're, you're an idiot. Okay, good. Whew. Construction, flooring, timber, planks. Yes, yes, yes. Right there. And... Designate you to there. Beautiful. My pivot axis is off a little bit, it looks like. So let's see it go right there to there. Yep. Get out of the way, mystical. Okay, good. Great. All right, so these other ones, I think all I've got left, honestly, is, oh, mod's leveling up quick. Um, all I've really got left is to put the crenellations around it, and I gotta do that for a lot of the wall as well. But that, that'll do it. All right, building some random wood spot there. Let me, oh, who did I have picked? Dang it. I don't know who I accidentally sent there. <laughs> oh well. Full control. 
All right, go back to fixed. Thank you. Okay. So let's see. Let's get some crenellations laid out. Oh, let's let him finish this off. I don't want to. I don't want to distract them. Do they have wood over here somewhere? No, they don't. That's why it's taking so long. Yeah, they gotta walk a ways for the wood. Um, let's put a wood storage. Object storage, wood, raw wood stack, right? No, timber pile. Let's do a timber pile. Right there, that looks good. Nobody needs to walk through there, really. And, oh, we got treasure. We need to do something about the treasure. A treasury, as it were. Oh, skeletal infantry. Oh yeah, battle. Pancake Man's busy. Understandable though. Dead. Bang. Ooh, seven. Hit you for seven, huh? Gather, gather. Yeah, great. Those other ones cleaned up already? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All safe. Keeping the place safe. <laughs> Gonna have this lovely battle music for a while now. Okay, oh good, you got a timber pile there. Um, honestly, should also have object storage for masonry. Masonry stockpile. Um, like that. Or... No, that'll block the doorway. All right, I'll put it there. Well, I guess that wasn't so necessary. They have a masonry stockpile right here too, but, oh well. No problem. Nice. All right, they are well set up. So, oh, where are we at? We're midday. We're looking good. Let's finish designing these walls. All right, now let's talk about the designation hotkeys. One of them here is control. Automatically does crenellations for you. And I may have highlighted that in another video, but it's always good to mention. Like that, and that looks, um, that looks wrong. <laughs> That's what that is. That looks wrong. That's how it looks. Okay. So, it looks like what I'm stuck with, I guess I don't have to put one there. One there, and one there. I do need to put one here, though. I'll do that. All right, that's fine. I'm still trying to stagger it correctly because the way I got it designed over here, they're like kind of a sawtooth staggering almost. Kind of want to stay that way. All right, you there. Hmm. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work there. There. Uh, this is this is a tricky spot. Uh, I guess that works out actually. Nope, up there. Good, great, huh? Almost like I designed it that way. What do you know? All right, cool. And then let's let's go over here. Let's start here. Oh god, did I hit the wrong side of that? I did. Great, okay. And come along this way. This is a weird kind of looking pattern. Huh. Well, we will just roll with it. 
think it's probably more important that it be even for my aesthetic purposes than, uh, than pretty much anything else. Yeah, okay. Definitely have a pattern going here. I had not even like paid attention to this at all. I didn't design this wall at all with like the crenellations in mind or anything. Oh cool, and then we get to do just on the tips of these corners, which is where I would really like to always see it happen. There, all right. Oh, and then this side. So we're gonna go with this. And this will be it for the wall. Um, like there. All right. Or should I do here? I'll do like that, I guess. And then there. All right. Good enough. Good enough. Can't spend all day on it. Great. Merchant Skeletal Infantry by Pancake Man. Pancake Man has been busy. Pancake Man. All right. Uh, well, one other thing that I kind of kind of wanted to just allude to. A lot of people have been asking about, like, could you please finish this top level wall up here? And I understand that looks kind of unfinished where it is right now. And I had originally planned to go like one level higher and to put like a kind of a walkway like this and stuff, but I have had a completely different idea for it. And what what I'm thinking is, I mean, we're gonna have to. Oh, that's right. I was gonna put a treasure pile in here. I can put it in there. Let's do that. Um, no, what do we want? Objects, storage, treasure. Now, people are telling me coin piles are pricey, but that they can hold a ton. So I'm going to put a coin pile. Whoa, that's giant. I can't even reach half the stuff in there if I put that in. Let's go for it. All right, Pancake Man has engaged the enemy, and they're dead. <laughs> oh, there, that, is that him? Pancake Man walking off into the sunset. <laughs> Getting all the battle music this episode, jeez. Alright, oh my gosh, they have almost completely finished the crenellations all the way around the wall. Ha! Ha ha ha. Alright, well, oh my gosh, we are coming up on dusk. So, I am actually going to go ahead and just... Uh, pause here. I think like I have been doing I'm trying to kind of get two in-game days done per episode. Um, let me know what you guys think of that. I know a lot of people are going to like it because they in general like longer episodes. But it gives me a chance to kind of mid-episode um, I get to go and you know, have an overnight and I get to kind of just think inside my head a little bit and plan out stuff for, for the next, uh, next game day. So I'll pause it here and I'll be back in well for you, mere moments. All right, everybody, we are back. It is day 71 now. Man, 71, uh, and it's in the morning. So as you can see, the walls and towers are done. I'm done messing with that outer wall. It took forever. Man, but I finally finished it. Um, and I also took someone's tip. Uh, they gave me, there was something uh, quite a while ago. Someone said I should put the stone forges fireplace up here for light because it looked pretty cool. I, I like that idea. Um, so I finally swapped those up there. They don't give off terribly much light, and they still seem to cause some glitchiness at night. But they still, they look nice. I like how that is with, like, the little fire that, you know, people could be around up there. And I just set them to not be allowable to use by anybody, so that no one will be going up there trying to craft stuff, because that would be dumb. <laughs> um, so anyway, I uh, did that, and then I am, I am out of Timber. Oh, I put that uh, coin pile in here. Let's pull the roof off. There we go. Look at this 
giant coin pile and we just throw all our money in this room here. <laughs> um, so those, that is crazy. That provides 200 storage. Um, so like all my other, like the treasure chests and stuff, what do these even provide? 20. Yeah, that's, that's, that's way, way better. So we do, do need like an, a much better treasure room than just the spare room <laughs> where all the junk gets thrown. Uh, uh, and the other thing I was working on overnight uh, is over here. The livestock pen has been moved. So Gordon Rosemary, I am going to de-designate um, livestock pens. All you are going away. You don't belong here, animals. Oh, do I have two uh, herders? I didn't think I did. No. Okay. Oh, no, Gordon is, uh, what's Gordon again? Gordon's the, I can't tell based off that little thing. Go away. Gordon. Gordon. Stonemason. Ah, that's who builds that. Anyway, so, uh, no, not the fence. I don't want to talk to the fence gate. Seriously. Jerome. Herder. You should be moving the animals. Seriously. These are not, this is not a livestock pen. Hmm. That's very strange. These animals do not belong here. Could not walk to my desired target. Is this guy standing in front of the gate? No. Gordon? Come out of there. I've had problems even now I put in a second door on the hall. I st Last night I had people falling asleep in front of each door. It was crazy. It's just like someone sleeping here, someone sleeping here. So we're clearly in a shortage of beds. Everyone loves this table. Um, it's always fill, filled, all the chairs around it. Um, all. Why are you guys just standing there? Wow. All right, so we're gonna, yeah, this hall is a problem. And so on that front, I have started my next project, which is outside the castle wall, down here. Um, so this, this is going to be an inn. I'm going to have an inn at the crossroads. So we're gonna have a lower floor where there'll be lots of tables and chairs, have some fireplaces, and have an upper level. It's gonna have a bunch of rooms and beds and stuff. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a nice establishment. Be a real, real asset to this area. The first, the first real big construction outside of the castle. Um, that, as you can see, it's taking a while to lay out the floor because it's sizable, and. That is because, though I think I have two carpenters, I only have the one bench thing here. So let's go ahead and go to workshops. Timbering bench, I think that's what they need to turn raw wood into timber, yeah. Yep, definitely. All right, so I'm gonna just slap another one up here. Um, because I seriously need more timber. <laughs> This is built by a carpenter, of course. I have two carpenters. Mitch Bon and Wade Dryden. Good old Wade, you're one of the practically one of the originals here, I think. Alright, so that should hopefully help you guys go a bit quicker. Um Chris Rogers 103 out of 200. Oh, I can get rid of that. Could he reach? He might be able to reach that from the other side then. Huh, where's the feet? Because that would make that a lot more efficient, actually. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna delete this hay pile without loss in resources. Boom, there you go. I could have put this timbering bench in a better spot now, but even so, that, that should speed you along in that route. Yeah, nice. Two level 20 carpenters working away. Beautiful. So I'm waiting for the livestock. Why aren't the livestock getting moved? This is just, huh. All right, well, let's get rid of the fence. <laughs> We're just gonna let them run, run wild and run free if they're not gonna uh, dig, yeah. And deconstruct the gate, yes. And deconstruct the feeding trough, yes. Get rid of all of it. No animals up here. Get out of here. 
Okay. Now, Jerome. Jeremy. Jerome. Jeremy. I don't, which, I don't know which way to say that now. Oh, God. Wait a second. Livestock designation. Remove. What? Oh, my God. There's different ways to remove designations. Did I do it wrong? Remove. Remove. Okay, this is apparently I removed this incorrectly. You're supposed to click on it to remove it. Are you killing all these things? No. There you go. You're trying to. Oh, geez. There's a there's designation there. Oh, God. Livestock designation. Remove. Yes. All right, where are you going to put them? There we go. Okay. Wow, that is that is a crazy bug, I actually. Um, yeah, livestock pens. Yeah, so if you do like the, you can remove the visual of the designation. That's a, that's quite an interesting bug. You can remove the visual of the designation using like, you, you would click and designate and hold alt shift, but it doesn't actually remove the designation until you click on the designation. And I think I got it all up here now, but if you like look down here, for example, I know, say, okay, say, I know that this square right here. Yeah, remove. Ah. Of course, I want that to be designated so that the, that, yeah, you don't have to come and move all the animals every single time they walk onto one of those squares. There's not a designation. All right, so there we go. Good, good, good. Got the animals. They're moving out. That's what I like to see. Work getting done. Bang. <laughs> You whack those animals and then move them. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Um, no one sits on this bench, so we're going to get rid of it. And the statue. Um, yeah, sorry. Removing that. Uh, we are. We have got projects happening. Stuff's going on. So I had, as I said I had earlier, in the, uh, the previous day, in-game day of this episode, I had alluded to my plans for the top here. Um, yeah, all this stuff is getting pulled out. All this out this whole hall i'm gonna have to tear down it's it's not big enough it yeah just that the whole hall is gonna be torn down we're gonna have a much nicer much bigger hall that is that is for sure gonna use almost entirely these large castle gates because that gives you a nice big walkway at least two squares wide so yeah it's gonna be gonna be much nicer uh much much more able to handle the population size that i have and a lot of the like there's gonna be there's gonna be beds in the area still but really all uh, most of my my stuff a lot of my stuff not most of it i would say a, a, a lot of it is gonna be scared to get in the tongue tied there is gonna start getting moved out out front here really that the castle the castle is where you retreat when you're uh, attacked by a large force but honestly, the town can exist for a large part of the time outside of those walls. They don't have to stay locked in there. Um, and especially since I put like the one door on here, this is like a super secure, everybody needs to retreat in. You know, as soon as you see someone coming, everybody just run right in there. You've got you know, the whole the whole town in the front of, in front of it. Um, and actually, I'm just noticing over this side, it seems we have some skeletons who have nothing to do. Those poor bored skeletons. <laughs> they really get stuck over here. They're just straight up like, there's a wall. What 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 are we supposed to do? I, I don't know what to do. Do you know what to do? I don't know. None of us have any brains. What do we do? <laughs> uh, are all those animals moved? Nope. Oh, one chicken. One chicken left. All right, great. Just checking. I didn't miss any other desi livestock designation there. All right. Um, and uh, you know what? I had another someone requested or suggested, perhaps would be a better way to put it, that the farms should be moved outside, and I can have like a big barn and have like a farm and everything, like just you know, big fields, and that could be pretty nice. That might be an idea. Um, I could. I could delete all these and put something else in here. Or I could, like, um, I could just stop farming in here, stop reseeding. I don't know. I'm not going to do that anytime soon because I've got the little houses for the farmers there that they, you know, they, they are quite comfortable in that area. 
Okay. So speaking of this in, dig out some. Oh, we've got a migrant, Christopher. Accept the migrant, and then go tell you. Oh, these guys are all. <laughs> I'm gonna set Maud to be an archer real quick. You, sir, are going to be an infantry, and you're going to combat train. Oh, you know what? I don't think I ever set Maud. Uh, I won't even bother with your with your your profession. You just go ahead and do that. Um, Maud. Train using archery targets. Yeah, sure. Or perhaps I should just have you operate siege weapons. No, I want to train you f for a bit. So, a bow and low quality arrows. I guess. Just grab a couple. And then walk down here somewhere. There you go. Oh! Skeleton tree's been spotted by Lucy Cassinia. And it's dead. <laughs> Gotta love it, man. That's just... Oh, look at this. Even got another one over here I didn't even know, know about. Gather those resources. Yeah, those skeletons, they can, they can try to come in and get us, but honestly, if they come around this side of the wall, they're going to run into the, you know, my infantry over here, and when they come around this side of the wall, they run into the infantry's over here. It's... I might put a road going all the way around. That's an idea. I could do a road across here and back down this way. Just do a road around, kind of a little out from the wall, around the perimeter, and then I could have someone patrol that road, and I take care of all these skeletons that get stuck over here. So that's a that's kind of a good idea. I'm liking that. I think that might be the way to go. Did I? I did not designate this. Got distracted. There we go. And construction, turning grass. Throw that in there. Yep. Great. So. Um, actually, it is dusk. These guys are gonna dig this out real quick. Oh, I gotta do one. Forget about that. Can't forget about that. So, with that, I think um, I'm just gonna put this road in and we are good to go. Um, yeah, for now, just flooring, paved stone, brown. That's the one. All right, and now it's getting dark. So thank you so much everyone for watching. Um, apologies about the voice again, a bit of a cold, but um, I hope you'll join me in the next episode and we will see how far we can get on construction of this inn. Thanks for watching.